for our leaders in faith and politics, for our leaders in faith and politics, that in the tradition of Bridget and Daniel, they lead their people in a spirit of service, compassion, and outreach to the poor. And we're in the way of scarring the world. For the courage to continue the dream of 200 years, we ask you, Lord, to empower us for that work which, dream, which makes dreams real and to temper us with patience for the times when we can take only short, <coughs> careful steps. For the strangers in our land and at our doors, that we may welcome every guest as Christ. Law Ada Brija, the first day of spring, we pray that all will respect the creation of which we are a part and see God's handiwork in all. For those who have gone to their eternal reward, especially the 1,720 Brigidian sisters whose names are registered in the Book of Life, for Bishop Daniel Delaney, and for the members of our own families. We pause now for a moment to add our own personal intentions. I'm wearing a main scar on the May we be about you. The memory of Bridget be within you. And the protection of Bridget keep you from all harm this day and night. Amen.
congratulations for your goodness you have this bread to us, which are to give me human hands of faith. We contrast the bread to us. Come to share in the faith of Christ, arm himself to share in our humanity. Bless for you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, through the divine and work of human hands, has become our spirit children. Come to know you as the source of all true love. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Bless be you, gracious God, for the marvelous gift of creation. All things you made, you saw were good, and you placed them all at our service. But not content to give us dominion over material things alone, your spirit moved over the face of the wall, and you wrote your law upon our hearts. You fashioned us in your image, and so filled us with your Holy Spirit, that we might find in created things, and in ourselves, a way to know and love you, a creator of all that is good. This law, which the Spirit has written in our hearts, was ratified in a special way in the covenant made with your chosen people. You were to be their God, they were to be your people. Your law was not a burden to them, but a pledge, a promise of steadfast love. So today, the mindful of this gift of the Spirit in creation, and recalling the love you showed in making the first covenant with your people, we gather about your altar to voice our thanks and unite us in the Spirit to sing. sustain us in our efforts to build up God's new reign in the earth. In proclaiming the new reign of abundant life, 
Jesus gathered the beloved. To seek forgiveness for a quarrel or a feud, they exchanged a St. Bridget's cross as a sign of their readiness to forgive and as a gesture of goodwill. In some parts of Ireland, when exchanging a Bridget's cross, it was said, thank God it's Bridget's day. Now uh, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Oh.